In this video, we'll talk about 5 ChatGPT tricks I use as a YouTuber. It's no secret that the days when YouTube videos were just raw clips from phones with no edit are over. YouTubers came from simple clips at the zoo and kids biting each other to now literally having Hollywood level production. This just means that YouTube is getting more and more complicated these days. The whole process from conceptualizing to uploading has been more extensive than ever, which is why we all want to take advantage of every tool that we can get. And with the recent rise of AI, we're lucky. Small tasks concerning content creation are slowly transitioning to their own AI tool. With just a simple search, you'll realize that there are a lot of AI tools. I actually explored two on my previous video, but in this one, we'll explore the most famous one. ChatGPT. It's a chat-like AI where you can ask it basically anything. It's like Google search, but you can make it summarize and even analyze the search results for your specific use. You can think of it as like Google search, but it actually gives you answers, not just like articles that probably has answers. If that makes sense. It's a very, very powerful tool. But for this video, we'll specifically talk about how I use it in my channel. So let's get it. For the first one, we'll talk about what's arguably the biggest talking point in YouTube content creation. And that is packaging. That means how you package your content into something clickable. Remember, YouTube is a platform unlike any other because people actually click on what they want to watch. Not just an algorithm feeding them what it thinks they want. The truth is, even if the video is great, but you don't get people to click it, they won't really see how good. While ChatGPT can't really help you make thumbnails, it can help you brainstorm title ideas for your video. Try doing this. Feed your existing script into ChatGPT and put this prompt. Give me 10 YouTube title options for the topic. Or for the script. And there you go. Of course, they'll handpick these to cater specifically to what target audience you're trying to go for. Or after a while, if your video is not performing, try using one of these to maybe switch things up. Though we established that packaging the video is very critical, that's not really all there is. Having good content is still what makes people watch. You got them to click with your title and thumbnail. Now we'll make them stay with good content. If you normally make a script for your video, I don't recommend ChatGPT. Just check out my video where I actually used it to make a full YouTube script. But it can help you with your research. You can ask about certain concepts you need, provide examples, or even summarize articles to your liking. Look at this. So I have this article and I'm gonna try to feed it in ChatGPT and let it spit out a summary of that specific article. I'm just gonna input the link and it's gonna do the search for me. As someone who's a slow reader, this is actually quite helpful. Bonus tip, you can actually ask ChatGPT to give you outlines about certain topics to get out of that dreaded blinking line on a black page. There are a lot of ways to make your video more relatable, but this one is probably the most common. It's actually being constantly used by the best storytellers in this platform, like Casey Neistat with his daily vlogs, Hayden Hillier Smith in his editing breakdowns, and even Mr. Beast in almost all his videos, especially in Beast Philanthropy. And I just did it as well. It's giving story examples or making analogies. It's a very powerful storytelling technique because it actually gives your audience a connection of what you're trying to say into something that they already know. Imagine if I tell you, the key to success in YouTube is actually to just keep uploading, even if you're not necessarily getting the viewership that you want. You might listen and even believe it, but compare that to this. There's this famous YouTuber that actually started as a filmmaker, and even though he's still making documentaries, he really found his success through vlogging around this big busy city. It took him 5 whole years to get the traction that he wanted, and he even went far as posting daily for 800 days straight. No breaks. Every morning, there's a new upload. Whether people watch it or not. See which got your attention more. Also, if you know who this YouTuber is, comment it down below. This next one is actually my favorite, and I just learned it quite recently. You can use ChatGPT to actually poke holes in your video idea. Rather than manually searching for counter arguments, let AI do that for you. Look at this. Let's say I want to make a video about Starbucks being the best coffee, but I'm unsure about what issues may arise. Look at how ChatGPT handles. It provided me with four key issues that may come up with if I were to make this video. And now that I think about it, I'm probably going to think of one to three, but Number four, I don't think that's gonna be on my mind. Like, if I were really to make this video, it's probably something I won't really check. So now I'll let ChatGPT check. This last one is actually what I first did when I learned about ChatGPT. Honestly, probably because the most early videos about ChatGPT are all talking about this. And that is making captions for your social. I tried doing this simply, but I learned there's a proper way to actually extract the most out of ChatGPT. Here's how. First, you have to understand that ChatGPT doesn't really know you or your brand. So the prompt needs to have some sort of info about who you are, what's your post about, and who you're talking to, aka your target audience. Also, a typical caption has three main components. That's your hope, your body, and your CTA, or call to action. 
And it's actually better if you let ChatGPT generate multiple options per component. So you let it generate 10 hooks, 10 bodies, 10 call to action. So try it that way and you'll surely make more compelling captions. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you like this video, I bet you'll also like this video where I actually use ChatGPT and another AI tool to recreate the entire video of mine. See you there and subscribe.